Hey guys, so today's video is going to be on this cut crease, which is something I am not good at. <laughs> I took inspiration from my friend Alicia. She is such a talented artist. She's so, so good at what she does. It's ridiculous. I love her eye looks. She plays around with color like no other. She knows how to combine colors and I really admire that on her. I don't want to say envy because I'm not envious, but I just... I wish I could do such a good job like she does because she really is so talented. So she did this look and I will insert a picture right here. It's so beautiful and it was a cut crease and I was watching her doing that on her Facebook Live. And I am not good at cut crease whatsoever. <laughs> so I said to myself, you've got to face it and you've got to try it again because it's been a long time since I've tried to do one. I told myself, go on camera and just do it. If it doesn't come out perfect, so what? So be it. You don't have to be perfect. So here I am. I love her look. I took inspiration from it. Obviously, I tweaked a little bit. I, I just didn't want to do exactly the same. Um, but I tried my best. And I really, really had fun doing it. Because I don't want to put this pressure and I don't want anybody out there that's watching put this pressure on themselves or think that because they can't do a cut crease they don't know how to do makeup. That's such a BS thing that people say like oh you can't do a cut crease well then I guess you're not good enough. You know I want to break this stigma. <laughs> I want to show people that sometimes you're just not good at some techniques and you're better at others and it's okay like as long as you keep practicing and you don't put yourself down like I used to but not anymore as long as you keep you know a good positive attitude and you keep trying if, if something that you really really want to achieve just keep trying it's okay if you mess up you just wipe it off and you try again it's just makeup so I am not gonna ramble anymore. If you are new please don't forget to subscribe and now if you want to learn how to do this imperfect cut crease, then just keep watching. I kind of lost the habit of priming my eyelids. I usually just put a little bit of concealer and then I move on. But for the sake of this look today, I'm going to go ahead and use my Benefit Cosmetics Air Patrol Eye Primer. I don't have the palette that she used for her look, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And I'm going to start with this shade right here. I'm taking this on a really big fluffy brush, which happens to be the Morphe M511. And I'm going to put this back and forth on my crease, blending upwards. Taking a smaller brush, I'm using Morphe M573. I'm going to take these brown shades right here and concentrate that on my crease. That's where I spent most of my time was just blending, blending, blending. And don't worry about, you know, the outer corner mass and the inner corner mass. All of that, we're going to clean up afterwards. So far, I'm feeling like a total failure. <laughs> I think this eye is darker than this eye, and I think I went higher with the blending on this eye than this eye. But I'm going to keep going because this is supposed to be a learning experience, so we're not going to give up here. <laughs> now for me, this is the toughest part. It's cutting the crease because... I'm not really good with symmetry, as you can tell, but also I'm not really good at doing uh, things like this on camera because I feel like I need a table to like, you know, I need some support under my arm and obviously I don't have it right here. So I am going to try my best to cut this crease on camera. For that, I'm using the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer and I'm using this Alamar Cosmetics, uh, kind of like a flat, shader brush. So I was actually watching her live that I learned that you were supposed to have a creamy concealer to do cut creases. And for me, I always thought that you needed something a little more drying so it wouldn't, you know, crease up or transfer or, you know, move on your eyelid. And I was completely wrong because although this is a tough process for me because I am not used to doing cut creases, when I did this side, it was much easier to have a creamier concealer like this. So that was another thing that I learned from her. So this is not the cut crease that wings it out at the end. This is, I think she mentioned it was called the crescent moon or something like that. 
Um, so you basically just follow your eyelid and then you, if you have hooded eyes, go a little bit above your crease so it shows when you have your eyes open. <sighs> How do these people make this look so easy? <sighs> Why? Now for the lid color, I'm going to use my Profusion Cosmetics Sienna's Eyeshadow Palette and I'm going to use this mustardy yellow shade called Serendipity. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up. I don't know. I'm feeling really like a mess right now. For the glitter detail on the crease, I'm going to go ahead and use Urban Decay Heavy Metal in Midnight Cowboy. I feel like this kind of hides the, the blending mistake that I did a little bit, a little bit. Okay, while this dries, I'm gonna go ahead and do a wing. She didn't do a wing, but I feel like with my eye shape, the wing will look better. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But she didn't do a wing, she just did like a really thick, plain uh, liner and it looked beautiful, but I just, I felt like doing a wing. Maybe I messed it up by doing it, but now we're gonna match. <laughs> so off camera, I finished off my wing and of course I messed it up. <laughs> um, but I also cleaned up everything like, you know, fallout, whatever. Um, and I don't know, I think it's because of the glitter liner. There's like a patch right here that the liner, it's not like clinging on my skin. So anyway, uh, moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lashes. And of course, I'm gonna use some Vita Cosmetics lashes. That's my friend's company. I've mentioned that before. Um, but it's not because it's my friend. These lashes are beautiful. They really are. They are uh, cruelty-free and they are they are so luxurious. They are not as expensive as most mink lashes out there. Um, they really are so beautiful. You can use them up to 30 times if you apply them correctly, if you take care of them. I can't recommend them enough. They really are amazing. And that's why I really, really want to support my friend. Not just because she's my friend, but because the quality of her products and the things that she's doing for her company are really, really amazing and I'm really proud of her so I am all for that you know when I see someone going after what they want and they have a vision they have a goal and they really put in the work I can't help it but support the heck out of it moving on to the face I'm using the Hydro Blur Primer by Dermalogica for foundation I'm going to use the VDL Perfect Lasting Foundation and I'm in the shade A03. For concealer today, I'm gonna go ahead and use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes using the Banana Shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use Anastasia Beverly Hills Fawn to contour my face. To highlight today, I'm gonna use the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. To finish off my eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and start by tight lining using MAC Long Espresso. And then I'm gonna take a flat shader brush in this deep brown shadow right here. And I'm going to put this really close to my lashes. And then I'm gonna take the first shadow that we use on the crease and I'm going to blend this on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to coat my lashes with some mascara. And then I'm gonna go back to my highlighter and I'm going to slightly highlight my inner corners and also my brow bone. For lips, she did something really pretty and deep. And I recently did like a vampy lip like that. So I wanna do something different. So for today, I'm gonna be using the Jouer Lip Cream in Noisette. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below what's one technique that you really have a hard time achieving or you want to get better at. This is definitely mine. <laughs> and you better believe I'm going to be doing cut crease nonstop until I'm happy with the results because that's how I achieved everything, <laughs> basically, that I know how to do. Um, I'm still messing up my wing liner, as you saw. Um, I really have a hard time with my brows sometimes. I have a hard time with smoky eye. It's just, you know, you just got to practice and practice and practice because you can't be afraid of error. That's how makeup is. If you mess up, you wipe it off and you try again. You know what I mean? So I really, really want to make this video because I wanted to show everyone that it's okay 
not to be perfect. It's okay to come on here and say, hey, I don't know everything because I really don't. And that was the whole point of this, you know, journey of mine. And I'm so thankful that everyone that's coming with me understands that, that, you know, I'm not trying to be perfect ever. I do have certain things I know I'm really good at it. And I try my best to always teach you guys as best as I can and make it easier for, for everyone that it's not really used to doing makeup or, you know, just trying to like starting to do makeup or whatever. So I really want everyone to know that it's okay not to be like, oh, I'm a beauty guru. I know everything. I don't know everything and it's okay. And maybe eventually if I keep practicing, I will be really good at cut crease and maybe I won't. I don't know. Uh, it's just something that I wanted to come on camera and show everyone that if you really, really want to learn something, you just got to practice because that's how you're going to get better at. Not just by being afraid and not trying. You're never going to go anywhere if you have this attitude. So I always try my best and I don't always succeed and that's okay. Make sure you check out all the details in my description box and make sure to check out my friend Alicia. She is hilarious. She is hardworking, she has a funny potty mouth, and she does lives on Facebook twice a week, I believe. Um, she is so, just, she has like a heart of gold. She's a really good person, she's funny, um, she's a mother. She has, you know, this business that she started and she's doing really, really well. So I really, really encourage you guys to check her out and she is so talented since the first time I met her we never met in person but we've been friends online for a long time for almost two years I think or a year and a half um, since I, I you know connected with her online I've always told her how talented she is and she really really is she teaches me so much when I am able to catch her lives because she's in the west coast so whenever I'm able to catch them. I learned so much from her. So make sure you check her out. Tell her you're my friend because I know she will welcome you with open arms. As always, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, and if you learned something new, please give me a thumbs up and share with your friends and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you next time.